All right, so it's uh, it's actually still right now. What day is it? Wednesday. I'm uploading the vlog right now, but this box just but this box just showed up, and uh, you know, I always try to unbox stuff here. So open this is the mystery inks. It's looking like it might be. It might be. Oh, phone call. It is nice. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So we get to start tomorrow off with the mystery inks. Finally. Whew. Oh my. You feeling any better this morning? You're still coughing pretty good. Huh. Whew. What's up everybody? It is morning, eight o'clock. I gotta do some shit around the house. Omar is playing with this ball. He definitely feels a little better. He's definitely playful, but still like pretty coffee and snotty. Didn't really sleep that much last night. And he's been spitting out his pills. So he's really smart because normally he feeding his pills with some food like peanut butter and stuff like that. This dude will isolate the pill and spit the pill out. So I figured out how to get him to do it, but he's he's pretty clever. Again, I'm just gonna watch him and try to decide whether or not I'm gonna go to sneaker con. It's not looking good though. Really probably gonna stay here. And not to be weird and not to be like morbid or anything like that, but I just this really crazy feeling came over me when he got sick. You know, when Doobie passed away, I was in LA. This trip is to LA. It just fucking freaks me out. Like, I know it's not necessarily reality, and I know that it's in my head, and it, like, if I go to LA, it's not gonna trigger some universal code that my dog will die. But in my mind, um, it just makes me feel uncomfortable. So I really don't know if it's something that I'm gonna do. I'm leaning towards no. Um, I really love coming to SneakerCon. I love everyone at SneakerCon. I wish that this situation wasn't present right now, but it is, and there's not much I can do about it. And honestly, trying to meet you guys and talk to people from this, I, I won't be able to do it. I'll just be distracted by, by Omar. So, um, most likely not coming to SneakerCon this year. All the other SneakerCons still planning on coming to. Um, Hong Kong, maybe not. It's just a lot of flying and I just got so much going on here in the United States. Definitely going to try and make it to Melbourne, but I'm not really sure about Hong Kong. They're like a week apart from each other. So I basically have to be gone for two weeks and I mean, it's a lot of work. But that's how I'm feeling right now this morning. It might change throughout the day, but I kind of doubt it. Let's address something because there's a lot of people There's a lot of people that think you're not supposed to uh, let a dog or a puppy associate with other dogs or puppies until they have all of their shots, which is completely not true. You know, like the socialization of a puppy takes place the same period of time that the shots take place. Omar is up to date on all of his shots. He's supposed to get another shot in two weeks. So uh, this is my theory as to why a lot of people have dogs that are pieces of shit and won't like fuck with other dogs like yes he got sick he's also an animal animals get sick we get sick you know it's like when you have a baby i don't have any babies but babies get fucking sick you know what i mean the benefits of him being social and not a little asshole to people and other dogs greatly outweighs the possibility of any kind of terminal sickness or anything like that Kennel cough is very common. Doesn't mean it's not serious for a bulldog, but it's pretty common and it's very fucking ignorant to say that he should just be trapped into isolation until he's, uh, you know, 16 weeks old. That's that's absolutely moronic to me. So, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty silly. And also someone or a few people commented that the weed smoke is hurting the dog. First off, I don't even smoke weed in my apartment. Second off, no, it's not. That's also completely Completely ridiculous. Yeah, maybe read some dog training shit or get a dog, have some life experience, things like that. But some of the shit people say on the internet is just absolutely ridiculous and I don't understand it. So, but Omar will be fine. I will be fine. Just don't know if I'm gonna leave town while he's sick. Pretty simple. All right.
Now, now let's get the day started. As far as the sneaker room goes, uh, someone, and I don't remember who, but someone who's smarter than me in this situation um, brought up a great point. That all the shoes in the closet look great, right? It's all organized, it's amazing, it's sweet, right? And I have all these shelves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven shelves. They said, they're like, why don't you just use the shelves you already have, kind of rotate stuff out and keep shit in the back, which Smart man, makes complete sense. I didn't really think about it, I don't know why. So I'm thinking that what I could do is go grab maybe seven more shelves, or even five or three, I don't know, however many shelves, and we could just line this wall, maybe just one wall, maybe two walls with those shelves for now, and just not display every pair, which is fine, because, but that's probably what I'm gonna do. Honestly, that might even be the move today. I might convince Ernie that we need to go to Ikea. We'll see, since we're stuck in the house with Omar, we might as well make good use of the time. Omar, you want to stop chewing on my socks out here? Thanks, bud. Ugh, appreciate it. Crazy ass dog. He's definitely feeling a little better. That's for sure. It was about 268. That's the, the, the 4x4 too. Time to go play fit. That's cool. <coughs> Go to your crate. Go to your crate. Go, crate. That's your crate. There you go. It's in the wobbler, fool. Look. Hey. You're in the wobbler. He loves the wobbler. Got smoothies. And now yeah. we're going to Ikea. It's here, and there's a round thing that comes out. You know how you kind of pull in? Uh huh. I forgot it was there. I didn't see it below the car. I went right over it, both wheels. Like a parking block? Yeah, uh, no, more like this part of the, it's like it had a curve and I just didn't Bigger see. than a parking block. Oh, way bigger. Yeah. It was like that. Like, see how that comes out like there? Like a parking peninsula. Yes, and I went yeah. right. <laughs> right. My mom used to drive over parking blocks all the time in parking lots. She'd, so right She'd start like denouncing parking blocks existence. Like, why do these things even fucking exist? There's no cliff for me to roll off of here. Garbanzo. Hey. Hey. Fucking Garbanzo, also known as a chickpea. Any difference? Do you nope. Garbanzo being a chickpea? No, it's the same thing. Why do they name them different things? Oh. Uh, there's other things like that, too, though, that have double names. Like what? <laughs> I can't think of it right Tires now. and wheels? No, because uh, tires are technically on a wheel. Yeah, that's kind of tricky. Sneakers and tennis shoes. That's not the same. Uh, right I don't now, like the I... word sneaker or tennis or tennis shoes. I don't like either. Kicks. Just shoes. They're just shoes. Oh, fam. Jesus fucking Christ, guy. Right, that guy's a little close. Nah, yeah, he's a little close. <laughs> yeah, he definitely almost hit you. Terrible fucking Miami. pretty boy. Didn't know what, won't know what's South coming East for him. Oh. And I hop out this car with some rage. Ikea rage. Ikea rage. We'll fuck up my vibe before I get to Ikea, yeah, fam. I'll fuck you up. Sweetest meatballs on deck. Oh, yeah. How many sweetest meatballs do you think you can eat? A lot. You want to test it? I'll buy you a hundred. <laughs> I'll eat a hundred. So I have to eat all of them. I'll eat them all. You could not eat a hundred Swedish meatballs. Yeah. Good. Ikea. This is amazing. Yeah, you get shoes right here, man. Yeah, this keyboard's not even real. No. It's a fake keyboard. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh shoot. shoot. Thank you. Thanks. That's no big deal. Ghost lamp. I just want to ride it, honestly. It's the only reason I come here. Oh, you're going to go right into. Oh, it's nice. Not I'm not going into the. Shutter. That is going to fall. <laughs> Oh, 
Ern was afraid to park in the handicap spot, so now he's just gonna block it. I'm trying to turn into here. That's kind of a bit, no, not people can go right around. No, I think she's trying to turn into the handicap spot. Oh. Don't worry, I got him on film if they try to fuck you up, dog. I gotta get this through the middle. The exit's gotta be this way. The exit's probably where the light is, where the people are coming in. <laughs> I would just guess, I don't know. Start a vlog where the face is blurred for the first month and then only once you get to like a certain amount of subscribers you unblur your face and then everyone else's face stays blurred oh around you until every character becomes unlocked. That's a good idea. Yeah. Or a really bad idea. Only at 10,000 likes and subscribers. <laughs> so make sure you hit that like button <laughs> so I can not be blur face anymore. Really reached, <laughs> we finally reached 100,000 subscribers. I'm gonna unblur my face now. <laughs> Uh, maybe not the best thing. Alright, so, we got more shelves. I only got three, I think ten is plenty for what we need to do right now. I might be tripping and might end up back at Ikea to get more. More is back to at least following me around. He's feeling a little better today, for sure. What are you doing? Ugh. Hey! This fool just tried to haunt my fucking leg. He must be feeling better. He ain't feeling that good. He's still coughing up shit and still sneezing and being all crazy. So I'm just gonna skip sneaker con. I cannot bring myself to leave. So I'm skipping it. Uh, we will drop the merch online, probably on Sunday, possibly on Saturday, but most likely on Sunday. And I'll let you know for sure tomorrow, but I just, I'm sorry LA. I'm sorry people that are coming out to meet me. If you bought tickets to sneaker con just to see me, I'm really sorry. You should still go, you'll have fun, I promise. I'll be there in spirit, you know what I mean? Every time you pick up a boo shoe, you'll think of me. Yeah. I know, that's why I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna get you better. I'm gonna get you to 100%. You know, Omar? 100. 100. He's like, yeah, whatever. So shoes, finally, 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 these came in last night. These are what I'm calling the mystery inks. A lot of people are also calling them mystic inks, which I feel like somebody at the Adidas just told somebody, hey, it's the mystery ink, and they heard mystic, and then something, something, someone made a mistake. Anyway, I think mystery ink, some people say mystic, it really doesn't matter, but you know. That's the shoe nonetheless. I've been waiting on these for a while. They've been out for a little bit. I know there's a bunch of reviews. They still have not hit US markets yet. Don't know if they actually will. Have no clue actually. They are here. These came from Denmark. This is what the shoe looks like. Omar's trying to get in my lap right now. Omar, I gotta review these shoes, bud. I gotta review these shoes. <laughs> You wanna do it together? This is what the shoe looks like. We're not doing this together. Come on, get down. So, this is what the shoe looks like. Da -da, da -da -da -da. All right, biggest controversy of the year. Is this blue or purple? It's fucking blue. <laughs> I mean, I know that we don't actually, human beings really even see in color and it's all kind of made up in our brains as what color we see. So you may see a completely different color, but it's fucking blue. And the reason that I can say that it's blue is because one, I work with color almost every day of my life and have for 16, 17 years, and this is definitely ultramarine blue. Two, the box has purple on it. That's purple. That is not the same fucking color. That's purple, that's blue. It's blue. And exhibit B for that ass, this jar is blue. That's closer to the same color. Not exact, but it's close. It's blue. So sometimes with other colors around it, it can look a different color. You know, the orange might be tricking your eye, but it's definitely blue. I don't really care. I know there's all kinds of articles that say purple. There's all kinds of articles that say blue. Some say purple and blue. It's probably most likely why they call it the mystery inks is because no, nobody can really figure out what color to call it. 
and everyone sees it and they were probably arguing in the boardroom and then finally someone said let's just call it the mystery ink and so we can go to lunch. That's what, that's what it is. It's blue and it's got orange super digitally peppered in all throughout which is a very nice colorway. A lot of people were calling this the New York Knicks or the New York Mets. Okay, you know Phoenix Suns even though it's not purple. Um, all kinds of stuff. So whatever I'm not really like that big into the sports aspect of it. Um, I just like the colorway and I actually don't really even like blue and orange together usually. I think it's kind of a gross combination normally but this this really works and I really do like it. One of my biggest beefs about the Broncos and their jerseys is the orange and blue. I'm sorry. I know I got a lot of Denver fans and a lot of Bronco fans, but I'm sorry. I just don't like the orange and blue. If it was black and orange, I'd be totally cool with it. But blue and orange, I don't love. But I do love this shoe. Don't get it twisted. I know it doesn't make sense. It doesn't have to. This is life. Life doesn't always make sense. Anyway, this is the shoe. So you got digitally peppered in orange on the blue upper. All PK, 3.0 prime knit. This is a 12 and a half. It fits fine. Took out the insole, solar orange insole, which yeah, this orange is definitely like a solar orange. Solar orange heel cut, all silver Ultra Boost branding. PK in the back, PK on the tongue, PK on the toe. Boost on the bottom, continental sole on the very bottom, and then a solar orange torsion system all up in the business. And then a clear, well not clear, but translucent blue cage. That's really the giveaway is that's definitely not. And then very dark blue laces that are even darker than the blue prime knit. I'm just gonna keep saying blue until it gets in everyone's head. I wonder how many comments will say purple though. And then that's pretty much it. We reviewed a lot of Ultra Boost 3.0s. These uh, do not fit any tighter than normal so 12 and a half is fine with no insole for me 13 would still be preferred so i could leave the insole in if i wanted to but not a big deal but like i said i don't know when these are going to drop i have no clue hopefully they do drop in the united states if not they're actually sitting all over europe like they're not they're not sold out they're ever, they're sold out online but if you can find you a proxy they're generally um you generally can find a pair. So, but yeah, this is the Mystery Ink Ultra Boost 3.0. I would say go true to size. You could half size down if that's what you're used to. Well, you're true to size in Ultra Boost. You don't run any tighter or anything like that, like the black. There it is, Mystery Ink. It's still a mystery. Woo! How you feeling? I know. I know. When you look at your snot, though, it's not good. here no no that's, uh that's it for today we'll see you guys tomorrow drop tonight 8 p.m mountain time i don't know if this vlog will be up in time for it but if it is and it's eight o'clock i'm not wearing a watch but if it is eight o'clock go to boost-heaven.com and get yourself a shirt it is past eight o'clock p.m eh, it's hit or miss i don't really know um you can go try there might be something left but there might not be so thank you everybody See you tomorrow. Peace.